We're in the Museum of Modern Art looking at a, really one of my favorite canvases by Henri Matisse. This is the piano lesson and it dates to 1916. It's a big, austere canvas. It's probably one of Matisse's most Picasso-like canvases, sort of cubist in its severity and its use of line. And, and some art historians have seen it as Matisse really trying to, in a sense, answer cubism. It certainly doesn't have the sensuality of many Matisse paintings. So it's what we usually think of when we think of Matisse. As explicitly, you're absolutely right. None of the sort of sensuous hips yeah, there's or Yeah, a little nudes. hints of it with the there arabesques is. of the, there is. That, the uh, wrought iron. iron. Yeah, the, right. ex exactly, which is, which is of course, the, the balustrade. Of the... But, you know, but that's perfect because some art historians um, actually see the rendering of that balustrade actually as almost a kind of written expression of the music that's being produced by Pierre Matisse, Picasso's son, who's at the piano. Matisse's son. Matisse's son, excuse me. Did I say Picasso's? <laughs> yes. And so Pierre Matisse is at the piano. This is 1960. Pierre Matisse, by the way, would grow up to be a really important gallery owner in New York, selling his father's work, among others. Uh -huh. And we have this sense of, of a kind of real balance in this painting. Because you had mentioned uh, the lack of sensuality, but actually, if you look in the lower left corner... That female figure on the lower left. Now, yeah. it's not a real female figure, no. or, I, or I shouldn't say real. A Matisse real. sculpture. It's, it's a painting of a bronze sculpture by Matisse. So there we have a nude, and she is curvilinear and really sensuous. Right. Um, and really contrasted, um, almost as if there were boxers, from the figure in the upper right. Yes, who looks very strict. Also... And but and reminds me of the metronome that's directly ah, under her uh, in its has, strictness and its in kind its... of uprightness and strictness and uh, sense of discipline and order there in that figure. She does hover over Pierre Matisse's head in a kind of menacing way, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. And she's painted, you're right, so curve, so rectilinear, rather. Mm -hmm. So much in opposition, and she's clothed, so much in opposition to the sculpture right. on the other side. And so, but, you know, the metronome is in that other corner. You're absolutely right. And that kind of alternates between the two. So, you know, some art historians have suggested that this is a, this is a painting that is really about this, this opposition between order and structure and beauty. Sensuality That's and right. discipline. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Now, what about his face, do you think? I mean, why... One eye. Why is his face so kind of cubist? I have in that no kind idea. But it actually seems to reflect a metronome, doesn't it? It does. And somehow I think it, it speaks to me of removing this image from reality. Ah, you okay. Know? So this is Matisse really trying to sort of impose some of the strict geometric formal aspects of the painting to the figure itself so that we're not seeing it as a literal rendering. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And that, that figure in the upper right, is that really a figure there? Or is no, that... because this is his house in Easy. That's a wall. And in fact, the woman that we're seeing, in a sense, playing the role of the piano teacher is actually a painting, a woman on a high stool. That's mm. also in the collection of the Museum of uh, Modern Art. So it's really not... It sort of it's is what it seems, yeah. but it's not what it seems. Well, you know, Matisse is playing with sort of levels of reality here, mm -hmm. right? And he often he often does that. Pierre looks out at us as though he would like to somehow escape into the too. pleasures <laughs> of of the female nude on the far left. Maybe, or perhaps of the, the, the of daylight the outside. That's right, because you almost see like the last rays of sunlight right. coming across the lawn right. in that wonderful triangle between the windows. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty austere kind of a, uh, allegory about what it means to make art. I mean, in some ways, I look at Pierre and I see him as a kind of stand-in mm -hmm. for, for Henri. Yeah. yeah. Um,